You are right, Cyber Controller. I am but a frail, deluded animal. But I am also a Time Lord. My people were mapping the routes to eternity when your planet Mondas was a pile of cheap cosmic dust. We are the guardians of history. And by throwing me into the vortex, well, you've just given me access to the ultimate source of our power. Bad move. This is impossible! Oh, shut up! You're like a blind man trying to tell me how useless color is! You're so pathetic! You've just angered one of the most primal forces of reality. But that wasn't your biggest mistake! You angered me! A cyber vision will survive! No, you won't! You tried to cheat time and death! And this is your reward. You wanted the rain to fall? I'll give you a flood! <laughs> Doctor, is this it? Is this what you meant by regenerating? No, Destry. I'm channeling the Time Vortex in its truest form. It, it's in every nerve, every molecule. Great, well, that's bloody brilliant. Now, nice work. They're all dusted. Let's go. Get down from there. Let's vamoose. The Vortex. It's calling me. Welcoming me. I'll be one with everything. Every heartbeat, every moment in time, I feel it all. Oh. No need to time travel. I'm becoming time. Oh no. Wait a tick. You're not leaving me here in this melting carcass of a ship while you become one with the cosmos. You are real. You're bloody flesh and bone and you're needed here, Doctor. And right now, I think I need you. Doctor! So beautiful. Destry! No! I've triggered a temporal meltdown. We haven't got much time. We have to get to the TARDIS. Yeah. Red sky at night, shepherds deny it. It'll take a while for the ship to break up entirely. That's going to have a second sun for a day or two. Whoa. 
also we saved the world. We saved the world? <laughs> we saved the world! Looks like everything's gonna change now. Yes, that's true. It's, it's uncomfortable. It's frightening. It's usually very expensive. But change is what makes us real. And at the end of the day, it's what we're all about. Speaking of which, it looks like I'm going to need a new jacket. You've needed that for a while now. I'm so tired of that old thing. Maybe you should try something in leather. Oh, there you go, upsetting the locals. <laughs> Guess I'll change up the TARDIS a bit. We all took quite a bit of damage up there. So, Doctor, where are we? Hmm? Oh, uh, no idea. Isn't that fantastic? Well, come on, let's go find out. Such adventures we had, Destry. But the sad reality stands. Everything ends. You had to return to oblivion while you were still breathing. And I had to return home, finally. It's been a very long time since I've been home. Gallifrey. It seems as if something was keeping me away. Maybe I was still running. My last trip home wasn't a pleasant one. But I suppose one cannot run forever. Try as one might. So I return home. Not familiar. The doctor has arrived, Lord Sarma. Defensive measures! Some of it, I don't understand. There are so many things that you've missed. Our former lady president, Romana, spent so much time with the Daleks in her exile. In that time, they helped her understand. Learn and understand. And with that understanding has come an era of peace to the Time Lords and the Daleks. And with the act of master restitution, it will be a lasting peace. Doctor, you, a most promising pupil, I would think you would understand her work. But why? Why now? I thought you would have figured that out by now, Doctor. You've always been so clever. No, things are not as you say. Whatever do you mean, Doctor? As I said, Lord Surma, 
Things are not as you say. Congratulations, Doctor. And as I said, you've always been very clever, but not very quick. You're just a moment too late. Yes, yes, Trevor, I've got that bit. However, you were banished, and Rassilon was stripped of power. And Rassilon shall rise to power again, and you, Doctor, shall help that happen. Rassilon, Rassilon is dead. He's locked away in the Dark Tower. The Master asks that his remains be brought back. It was part of the plan. The plan to restore the ultimate weapon. No. Yes, Doctor. The ultimate weapon in the war against you. The Master lives. No. No, no one uses the subjective transpositor and lives. Let us and you'll be undone. Roy will substitute your existence for his. Mine is a willing sacrifice. My allegiance is to Rassilon and to Gallifrey. You stand in our way, and it is you who shall ultimately be undone. <laughs> what have you done? What have I done? <laughs> what, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Oh, Doctor, you cannot begin to understand. It isn't, it isn't in you to comprehend. That it isn't what I've done, but what I've yet to do that strikes fear in your eyes. The Master will resurrect our leader, Davros, and will lead us again into perfection! Stop him! The Doctor must not escape! Exterminate! The Doctor has been defeated! Victory! Victory! The Doctor has escaped. Unacceptable! The Doctor's eighth death is known. And this wasn't it. It's been told of time and again and again and again and again. A fixed point in history. We've just done something. We've just rewritten history. And the beauty is, we've only just begun. It started. No, 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 it's much too soon. Why did it have to be Daleks? Boy, they have impeccable timing. Destry. Destry, I'm so sorry. We'll never make it to Barcelona after all. Well, here goes everything. Oh, oh, oh what was the rush that bit? Okay, okay, legs, legs, good, 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 arms, arms, good teeth. Too weird. The air. Oh. What? what? No. Oh, this is new. This is. This is really, really new. And no one's gonna recognize me. No one ever recognizes me. And it's still so, so new. And why can't I be ginger? Ah! Oh! oh, so still cooking. Off the old bowl hole while I get this sussed out. Okay. Good year. All right. Bonsai. Woo! <laughs>
you were about to meet your first alien species. Well, second if you can. Alien? Are you saying leeches are alien? <laughs> That's a bit buggy, mate. You love that.